Hey, what's going on, folks? My name is Tom, or Tezza Dude, as I believe some of you might now know me as, thanks to Dunbar Snack Bar. Um, I'm going to get into that in another video. I'm going to save that because I don't want to start crying and getting all, all teary eyed and thankful and, and crying and stuff. I'm doing it now. Anywho. This is something new, as you can see, this is MLB 12, the show, as I promised you guys. And it's good to actually finally have something new to look at for you guys, I'm assuming. You know, it's only Campana's great and you guys love it. Maybe this is something you'll also love, and I hope it is as well. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the new character's name. I'm going to leave that just until he's at bat. I don't know whether you can see on the back of his shirt, though, but I can't. It's a tiny little screen. If you can, then you can work out who it is already. And well done to you. But I can't see it, so I'm hoping you guys can't. This is actually the third recording of this commentary. As you know, I've had a bit of a dodgy mic recently, but I think I've hopefully fixed it. Uh, first recording was all dodgy, so I then found a way of doing it. I took my mic out and my headset, because it's all part of one, and reinstalled it, and it seems to be fine again. I did a quick couple of test recordings, and they were both fine. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I fixed it. But the second time, I'd fixed it, but... Um, it was incredibly quiet, it reset all the way back to its default, like 30% mic volume. So I've, I've whacked it right up to like 90%, so I'm going to have to make sure this isn't too loud over the co over the gameplay for you guys, because uh, you still want to hear a little bit of the game. So here's my character, it's Lou Pinella. Hopefully, if you're a baseball fan, you'll know exactly who he is. Uh, a great legend for my team, the Chicago Cubs. If you don't know who he is, he was, I think it was from 2007, I can't remember exactly when he took over, it might have been 2006, but I started... First ever watched baseball in 2007. Was that my first ever really kind of sitting down and watching a game, and it took a long time. Uh, but I think we won, and I can't remember who the hell we were against. But I'm pretty sure we won that game back in uh, 2007. Anyway, so uh, Lou Pinella, his first at bat, he gets a hit, he makes it to first base, but he doesn't make it to second base. And that's disappointing, it would have been good for his first at bat to get a double. Uh, the ca the uh, character's team, Lou Pinella's team here, as the uh, Jacksonville Generals at the moment and they are the triple-A or double-A I forget which uh, team of Luke, one of Luke, of Luke and Ella's favourite team uh, the Seattle Mariners and I'm sorry for the Cubs fans who wanted me to do something for the Cubs uh, I was going to do in the end Harry Carey or Ron Santo uh, but I didn't want to do everything the Cubs and also Lou actually has a lot of ties to the Cubs, so maybe he'll get traded, maybe I'll, I'll request a trade to the Cubs. Uh, but in the show anyway, you get traded a lot, and I mean a lot. I mean, a, my other my player that I started just for myself has been traded four times already, and he's currently at the Indians, and I started out at the Marlins, and I've been to the Orioles, and I've also been to the Mets. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of um, a pain, because you settle into one team, and then you're changing again, and it's really annoying. But uh, maybe I can get him traded to the Cubs. But the reason I picked Lou Pinella in the end was because, one, uh, he's, he's such a great guy and I wanted to do almost a tribute to him, hence why I ended up picking the Mariners. Uh, but because he's got a lot of teams as well, so if he does get traded, he has worked for a lot of teams. He started in the Baltimore at the Baltimore Orioles, uh, ended up going to, I can't remember if it was the Cleveland Indians. Oh God, I can't remember. It might have been the Reds. And then he ended up either at the Reds or the Indians, I think, and finally ended his actual baseball career at the Yankees. So he had a good baseball career, and then he didn't stop there. He, he decided to go into managing and started out marrying... Uh, marrying... <laughs> managing. Um, I think it was the Seattle Mariners first. I haven't read his full bio. This is just what I've noticed on Wikipedia, like just when looking him up from now and again, every now and again kind of thing. And uh, he had a big, big kind of time where he was most, not most loved by everyone, but most loved by thousands of Cubs fans was back in 2007 and 2008, where he was just absolutely brilliant as a manager. And he took us nearly to the World Series, but in the end it was a, his, well not his fault, you know, you can't say there was a... a you know, it was just a few bad managerial decisions. I don't want to be down on him, but a few bad managerial decisions. We never made it to the uh, to the final. But we're Cubs fans. We're used to losing. Do we care? No. We still love Wrigley. We still love the Cubs. Can't wait for it to be white flag time over a World Series. That'd be amazing. But Lou Pinella is, uh, like I said, he's got loads of different teams that he's played for and worked for. 
So I thought it'd be a good idea to do that, not just be restricting myself to doing Cubs for everything, because I know other baseball commentators, uh, Dunbar in general, who's an A's fan, but he doesn't really do anything with the A's. His current my player is like you know with the Mets, and then he's done. Um, I, think, I can't remember his his other my player Chris Rose is with the Indians as a pitcher, so he's not uh, you know just doing everything with the A's just because a lot of his fans are A's and and because he's an A's fan. So as much as I love the Cubs and I did I was going to do like Hank Aaron for the Cubs or Harry Carey, but I think I'm going to save Harry Carey for. Uh, the next kind of instalment of baseball games maybe 13 the show you, you'll see Harry Carey make an appearance so yeah that's kind of that's kind of why I didn't want to just restrict myself and as much as I, I know you guys and I had more people saying they wanted to see stuff with the Cubs more than anything uh, and I do want to do everything I can because these videos like I always say are for you guys I want you to have the biggest input possible well uh, this is it for the first episode guys I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode